Welcome to Charlotte Roval. We are in the Arca car here today. New week and uh, a new combo for hey, us. Hey man, I'm trying to click on that link. Wait for a second, dude. <laughs> um, we are surprisingly the number five, uh, despite I have about a 3700 road eye rating right now. So we've got some stiff competition here, even though it's uh, late Monday night, 1148 at the moment right now. So that was good to see. I was afraid I was going to be the number one. And uh, I'm going to be slower than the fastest guys. Um, but hopefully I can hold my own and at least be steady. Push. All right, Colton, we've got right now I've got a, an all-time best of a 123.578. And I feel like I can get some more out of it. Just to, just got to put it together. So we'll see how it goes. Main goal here is just to Hit my hit my marks. Stay on the track, and hopefully pull off a decent enough finish. So, I think uh, it seems like you can just hit some decent times as long as you're just making sure you're hitting the apexes. Like I'm not even always being so fast. Like I could gain a lot of time being more aggressive with the throttle, but I think you know my biggest thing here is just make sure I'm hitting uh, hitting the line properly first and then worry about speed later like make sure I'm not overdriving any corners gonna be a little easy on the throttle during the race so that way my rear tires don't get heated up too much not overdriving corners and sliding through will help with that as well hopefully Kind of break in a little bit earlier for corners, just to make sure, like I said, I'm hitting my lines. Okay, here comes your first time lap. And uh, we're starting qualifying here. I can get a little light around this corner here, a little bit more than you might expect, so... Taking it easy. All right, so far so good. I'm in the green with my all-time optimal. That's always good. Ooh, and, and they're a little bit hard. I'm sliding. That's exactly what I don't want to do. Because once you start sliding, the tires get hot, and then you got much less grip. It really starts losing grip fast if you start sliding around it. So, almost hit the wall there. Jesus, it was not turning like I was hoping it would. I guess I carried too much speed through there. I didn't quite get the angle, so that's going to kill this lap. <laughs> but hopefully I can pull it back to at least a somewhat decent time. Just got home from work, did the 30 minutes of practice ahead of time here, and so there's still a lot of time for me to gain, I think. But feeling okay for now. Use the curbs a little bit. Ooh, got a little unsettled there. That was not a very good lap. I'm not too happy with that, to be honest with you. Pull for now, but people are still going to be putting laps in. So I'm going to try to improve the second lap if I can. Things are already feeling a little bit more slidey because I'm getting the tires all crazy. Falling back to fourth. not sliding it through there this time. Being very gentle with the throttle is very important. Less is more. At least for now, at this stage in my road racing here. Other guys maybe can sling it around <laughs> to an extent, but for now, like I said, biggest key is just making sure I'm hitting the marks, hitting the apex, not messing anything up. All right, lap's going better so far. Still about four tenths off my all ten optimal, but I've never really put a lap completely together yet, so that's not too surprising. All right, that'll do, I guess. A little bit better that time, one twenty-three six. 
and you'll see there's like guys 120 that's fast <laughs> then we got 121 22s so there's gonna be guys driving away from us not too surprising we got a nice one second gap behind us at least for now anyway we got more people getting laps in so hopefully we'll get some space wow that was a uh, only five minutes for qualifying. That's something to take note of, too. You better uh, head out quick if you plan on getting your times in. So, I'm just going default here on all my settings. I haven't really had time to practice anything else, like uh, different brake bias or anything. Seems to be okay uh, for now. But uh, maybe these guys have some other tricks up their sleeve. Maybe they've run a different brake bias or something. Excuse me. So, all right, we'll get out there. We One don't have. Line up on the right well, it's a road race, so we'll have our all time optimal up. That's fine. Steady is the name of the game. However, not going to be trying to hit the all time bests. Just being steady. We've got this ugly <laughs> sideways start, and then we're going to have to do a full pace lap, which is not my favorite. That's okay. Should be a rather quick race, or I guess about average for Arca here. 15 laps, with each lap being about a minute and a half. That's about a half hour race, I suppose. So not too crazy. I really enjoy, I've, I've come to really enjoy the Charlotte Roval um, through my experiences in, say, the Mazda. And uh, this guy's blinking a bit. No but that's not going to be an issue. Um, and I really enjoyed like Lime Rock. I'm all right this week. I just need to learn how to fade better. I really enjoyed Arca at Lime Rock. So uh, I was really looking forward to this. Should be good fun, I hope. I beat you to teach me how to go fast. Catch up, six car. Let's get caught back up. Catch up to car number zero six. We're in the right line. If you were thinking about the interest of that 24-hour race here at the Roval, it's NASCAR vehicles, truck, Xfinity Cup. Everyone's welcome. <sighs> this guy's been advertising hard for this thing. He just keeps spamming that. <laughs> like I get it. Like let people know about it. But this is like the third time. He's put that in the race session. <laughs> and then, like, in the practice session, he was in there, too. It's like, okay, we got it, man. We heard you the first time. Thank you. I don't know. I'm just being grouchy, I think. Nathan, I have a question. Yeah, shoot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there was a question, and then there wasn't a question. Anyway, hopefully uh, there's no big mess right off the start or anything crazy. Maybe we'll get spread out and have ourselves a nice race. Just uh, battle on the track. Maybe we'll get some side-by-side -side stuff. Maybe not. It's going to be a first gear start, looks like. You've got a pretty long first gear, it seems like. So you can go down to first a couple parts of the track, but I'm not going to overdo that because, again, don't want to light up the rear tires all too much. It's just a couple spots I might try that out. Might just go through this single file. Just being careful in the pace laps. I don't want to take anything for granted and like assume there's going to be lots of room while we try to go through there. Top 10 would be fantastic here. If I can pull that off, I would absolutely take it. Any wheel spin? Doesn't even look like it. So, still be easy just in case, but not expecting any wheel spin. 
Weird starts here at the Roval because you have to make your way through the final corner. They're wrecking before we even get here. Well, that's pretty ugly. Left side. Still there. Not sure what that's all about. That was uh, not ideal. That was some production card challenge levels of bad. So we are going to take our time for now. Watch out for any tomfoolery. Oh my god, we are getting absolutely sent. Jesus, man. Is the racing going to be bad this week? Is that what I'm finding out? Jesus, it's the first lap. Take it easy, my dude. He absolutely sent it in there. Alright. Don't get killed into one of the biggest braking zones, I hope. Here he goes. Clear. Thought he was gonna take me out. Thankfully we survive. Oh boy. Just being a defensive driver for now. Okay, that guy's pitting. Did not expect that. Kinda messed up my entry here. Oh, we got a spin out. Yeah, that was all I mean. I, I was trying to cross over and... Uh, yeah. Easy on the throttle through here, because it can get surprisingly yeah. light. And really you don't want to be part. spinning the tires up in any way, sliding around. That'll yeah, hurt you in the long run. Focusing on the angles. Yeah. My bad. Guy's going to be faster. I'm going to let him by. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm trying to make it to the end here. Which a couple guys have not been able to say they made it to the end without crashing. Though they're fast enough, they might come find me later on anyway. Kind of wall behind us. And uh, we are continuing on. I break a little bit before the five right there. I'm heading in a little bit hot. We're fine. This is one of the spots on the track I might shift into first. Just to get a little bit more speed out of the bus stop there. And then I will usually watch for those little marks, the three little marks down there. The leader has just done a 122.3. Lots of, uh... A little earlier braking for me. Earlier than some guys, but... Seems to do okay for me. Oh, there's that light car right through here. That I tell myself to worry about and then forget about, apparently. So... Gonna remember that I slid the tires a second ago. Gonna have a little bit less grip for a minute. Just light gas through here. And then making sure I'm not going out and hitting the wall through exit right there. Just keeping it steady. And I'm in fifth right now. So. Here I'll break between where those dotted lines start and the five marker. Second gear's okay on exit there. I've been flipping between shifting to first and keeping it in second right there. Maybe I'll decide by the end of the race which one I like better. You can use up the curves a little bit there, just can't overdo it. And here I use that three marker. Easy now. Don't overdrive it through here. Alright, and then I kind of check where the grass starts on the left over there as my marker for this corner. I like talking through that because it kind of helps me keep focused and keep my markers in mind. 
Here there's no real good um, breaking marker. Kind of just before the paint starts on the left there, the red, white, and blue. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got a little unsettled there. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was I was making. You can see, obviously, my all-time optimal is so much faster. I'm just, it's because I'm being much more conservative during the race. Really interesting to see how the braking zones change as the race goes on if much at all. I might start doing first gear more often out of there because it does feel like I'm bogged down a lot. Three dotted lines down there. Right side tires, left side tires. I keep it in second. Maybe first gear. I don't know about that though. Doesn't seem necessary to get it all unsettled and light up the rear tires. Grass on the left. Making sure I'm hitting the apexes. Alright. And then here, like I said, it's kind of like once I'm kind of getting to the top of second gear, once I'm getting closer to that paint on the left side, it's kind of when I start breaking there. And then here, no all break right, at all. Just lightly on the gas, and it, it'll help get turned through here. And that's what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm not the fastest guy out here, as people disappear into the distance ahead. But you now we're in fifth place. I'll take it. Second gear through the first part of the bus stop here, and then I'm gonna try first gear now. I do think that might be a little bit better. You just gotta be careful not to completely floor it, or else you might get a little bit of slippage. Coming in here a little bit hot, we're fine. We're supposed to be going fast, right? That's the whole point. <laughs> oh, a little bit too fast through there, that's okay. Keeping it steady. Alright, we got about three and a half seconds behind us. Just light braking through here. Trying to get a good angle out of there. That's much better than I have been doing. Alright. Yeah, I feel like I could hit better laps if I uh, just got a little bit more seat time. Like I said, just got home from work. Got 30 minutes of practice ahead of time. So, consistency will go up once I get more laps in. But I'll try second gear again here. Yeah, it's just, it feels like I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm stomping on the throttle and it's not going anywhere, so. Still kind of indecisive, but I think first gear might be necessary through there. is now leading. I gotta battle for the lead up there or something, because uh, we got a new leader call. Oh, I'll over gas it. Alright. That is an easy place to spin out if you over gas it. That cannot be overstated. And then you can always go all the way out here past the bumpers. Bumpers, the uh. What you McCollum's <laughs> curves. This isn't pinball, they're not bumpers. I don't know, kind of follow that blue line through there. Get a good angle. Don't be afraid to get pretty close to that inside wall. We got some lap traffic here. Uh, blowing his engine. That is interesting. We'll make it on past that. Reported. Already submitted. All right. Tempers flaring, boys. 
wonder what's happening. We'll find out eventually in the incidents. My goal right now is to not appear in those incidents. Ooh, too much. Too much curb. The problem there was I got both the left and right side tires on the curb and not just the right sides. And that's what got me a 1x and got my car angry at me. <laughs> so don't do that. Use the curbs, but don't abuse the curbs. Okay, car's getting a little bit looser. It's alright, just gotta adjust. We've got a one car who I assume wrecked earlier and is probably very fast and catching up to me. Might have to let him by, even though it will be sad to lose a top five. But making it to the end is more important than wrecking myself trying to fight someone who is obviously faster. <laughs> so. Hey, right, seems if I get the car straight and then I start gassing it up from first gear, seems like it's okay. Make sure I get only the side tires in there. Oh, that guy is so much faster than me. Ignore everything I'm saying and listen to whatever that guy has to say. <laughs> Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about as I get a little sideways, worrying too much about him. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Ah, oh, he's going way out there. I'm not defending my position, crew chief. Didn't you hear me? In the breaking zone, Garrett. Maybe I can learn something from this guy. He looks like he's just braver than me. <laughs> he's driving harder. Stopped ahead. Okay. Uh, getting loose. I'm being a little bit too much to my car for me to handle. Uh, whoever must have crashed, I guess, maybe got going, because I don't see anything at all. Maybe it was a lap car, uh, who knows what happened. Mm. Didn't go first gear there, because I got my car a little bit too unsettled, hitting curbs. Took a little bit too much of a chunk out of them there, than I probably should have. Still doing all right, though. These guys that are faster, they're just much more brave than me. They're able to hit the line, like I, uh, like I try to do, but do it with a lot more force, a lot more speed and are able to hold on to it and uh, maybe I'll get there eventually you know work on getting the line first and then worry about doing it faster for now I'm happy with it I, I mean we got 11 seconds back behind us to seventh you never know if we'll get any more freebies before the end of this thing you guys that are pushing it hard Seems like you lose a little bit of grip as the race goes on. Nothing too crazy though, so far. As we're approaching five to go. Ooh. A little bit of a hop there. You got five left to go. Five to go. bit shallow on the second half of that corner there made me have a bad angle
following that blue line out here and then uh, turning in a little bit late. I want to turn in a little bit sooner. I think if you can really get out wide but then turn down and cut it just right closer to that inner wall and you get a really nice angle heading out here. Almost bri <laughs> I missed my braking zone. The number one's real fast, as you might guess, being the number one. Be interesting to see what his uh, I rating is. I forgot to turn on race labs. This race, I thought I had it on. Oh, there I go, hitting all four tires on the curb again. It's all right. We're okay. He does it. Cutting it a little earlier this time than I have been. There we go, that's more like it. That's a little bit faster there. I guess fall off is a pretty decent thing here. I'll try to get session last lap up then. Maybe get a better idea of how fast I'm going relative to current speeds around the track. Got some smoke up here. I think that guy's just... That's how he takes this corner, though. I haven't seen a lot of smoke. I have not been good through those... That final corner. Final set of corners. Past couple of laps. I need to get that figured out. Thank you. A little wide there, but we're fine. Driving that in a little bit harder right there than I have been. Almost got the outside wall there, trying to get as much of a good angle through there, but it kind of worked out for some speed. Incident in the first chicane. Incident in the first chicane. I wonder who that's two left about. To go. Two to go. Leader's way up there. Six. Look out, number one. Keep forgetting to switch into first gear there. This seemed to be the way to go. There's an incident in turn one. It looks like Robinson. Hearing about more incidents. Unfortunately, none of them are for position, though. Two to go. These guys probably have a pretty good idea of what they're doing. Not likely to make mistakes all on their own. Maybe if they tangle up with each other, but... Alright. Up uh, in the green a little bit this lap. It's always nice. Lots of incidents happening all of a sudden, like crew chief's going crazy. He's like, there's an incident there, and there, and over there. <laughs> last, lap. last lap, the leader has taken a last lap. Call up there already. Another incident we're hearing about.
<laughs> Lots of curb there. That's all right. Car is, the car can handle it. It's fine. Oh, this is less fine. This is less fine. Okay. A little bit of panic there from a, <laughs> a lap car. We're okay. We survived. Everything's going to be okay. We're on the last lap. Just going to bring it home now. No reason to hit any fast laps or anything. Uh-oh. We got someone on the lead lap here, though. With issues. He might be going already, though. We'll see if he has any damage that'll allow us to get around. Man, I didn't quite get the link the last time you said it. Can you send it again, please? Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> the guy just absolutely spamming that. Sorry about that, guy. Get again on whatever I thought was next. Oh, my bad. Can we catch this guy who <laughs> might have damage? Not likely. Not really There's not much like lap to go, but we are gonna try. Like, because, yeah, no. I, I just got in the gas early, thinking, trying to cross over, and I just took a few. I, think that's I don't think he has enough damage to make a difference. All my fault, though. Oh, good. Good one. I drive it too hard trying to get here. And we will pull it into AP6. All right, I will absolutely take that. We kept it clean, just a couple of off tracks heading to that final set of corners. All right. The uh, fast guys were fast. Big surprise there. <laughs> but uh, at least I was able to be somewhat consistent enough to be able to pull in AP6. All righty. Park it. Go look at my ugly purple car with no sponsors. <laughs> I don't know, I might I might keep it for a little bit. It's kinda growing on me. But started eighth, finished sixth. Not too many crashes from the fast guys. The one guy I think spun at some point. The number one guy. Spun it at some point in them in the but then he came and passed me again. So rear tires burning off. Pretty good. And I feel like I was pretty gentle with it, so something to think about. And uh, we'll see the incidents here. Oh yeah, they forgot they were crashing before they even started. What happened up there? <laughs> so I... the two is the control car. They go, and they're thinking they're gonna have... They're going to be clear of them, but they were not, so they just kind of turn right into the one car, and then... Then they roll it. Just let it roll right in front of them. That was interesting. The one on the two still... Like, the two still wins, by the way. <laughs> That's how fast these guys are. So that was an interesting start, for sure. There I am. Three wide. But not really trying to do anything too crazy, just trying to make my way around and not get run over from behind. So this guy uh, promoting his 24 hours of roval. Kind of barely making it through the first turn. Linking. He was just going to wreck the six, I guess. He's faster, so he can't waste any time. Despite the fact he wrecked himself before the line. Like... He's coming up on him here, and he's just, like, running into the back of them. And then instead of, like, backing off and letting him catch it, he's just going to keep gassing it up, I guess, and spinning the guy. I don't know about that. If you didn't want to be behind him, maybe don't crash before the start finish line. I don't know. So that's one guy we might not have finished ahead of had that not happened. Who knows? 14 way overdriving it. They are in another zip code. <laughs> They're saying you cut the course. Whoop. 
That might be the worst rejoin I've ever seen. Thankfully, no one was coming. I don't think you could be more perpendicular to the track. <laughs> I guess maybe he knew that no one was coming, and that's why he was okay with doing that. <laughs> but that's uh, that was that's an interesting way to rejoin the track. And then we got entering the final corner a little bit too hard. Everyone seems to get around. More blinking and spinning. Some 24-hour roll guy. More blinking and spinning and hitting the wall really hard and just rolling out in front of somebody from the 24-hour roll guy. Be sure to join his race at the link provided. I'm sorry, I'm being mean. <laughs> What is he doing? What? What are you doing, man? His car's broken. He slams on the brakes, bounces off of the wall, and then turns down the track. Make sure you join his 24-hour roll race. Wow, these guys are kind of big jerks, aren't they? Like, okay, the one flying through the field because they crash before the start finish line. What's the excuse here? He just straight up turns him. What is that? He's just not even interested in wasting time, I guess, actually passing someone, so he's just going to run him over. What a jerk. Okay then. Is this the guy I did? I didn't record this, but there was a race I did in Dirt Road with the Pro 2 lights. Is this the guy? This may not be the guy, but there was a guy that, like, at the at the rally cross version of this track, off the start, he like purposely pinned me against the wall and made me hit the wall at the start of the race. Is this the same guy? I think it might be. It wouldn't surprise me given the fact he just absolutely ran over that one guy just for no reason. Because that's what he did to me. He just I was his toughest competition in that race and he just took me out by pinning me into the wall. You got the leader here entering turn one just a little bit hard maybe. They're breaking much later than I normally do. Of course he might have missed his breaking point into that corner how hard he went in. He's getting caught. We got... I don't know why I was expecting anything but a blink there. Ooh, 14 not getting any turn. Second half of that bus stop. Ooh, 7 in the wall. Keeps it going now. Why? <laughs> the 3 was ready to send him from the next county over, but the seven was kind of maybe anticipating it and not really wanting him to absolutely dive it. So that was an interesting interaction there. Oh, this is a lap car blowing his engine. Yeah, he did something weird with the shifting there. And I get on by. Hate that that happened to the to the guy, but I'm. Kind of glad I was able to get around before we got to the bus stop. Then we got... Ooh, and then it gets a little loose on exit, and the six can't react in time there. More issues for the nine. Whoa! Kind of a slow spin there. Did he use Alt-F4 or something? He's gone all of a sudden. 14 spinning it. Oh, and hitting a really bad spot on the wall, too. Six. That's the wall pretty good. That's an easy spot to get to the wall. If you kind of drive through there a little bit too hard. Loose on throttle there. I'm assuming he's using first gear. It's just a blink. 
Levin's got a fresh car after blowing the engine, but uh, got it loose. Driving it way too hard to turn one. Looking like Chase Elliott right there. Except that wall's a lot less soft in iRacing <laughs> compared to what it is in real life. You hit that like it's a, in real life, it's like a pillow. Here it's just like any other wall. Yeah, lap car at least uh, keeping it up there as the uh, lead guys come, up, come around. So that was a good way to handle it from him. Some more. That looks more like uh, Chase Elliott scaring Kevin Harvick <laughs> into uh, into the wall there, missing the pillow and hitting the actual hard part of the wall. This was the last lap and me getting scared. <laughs> I had to go around him. So there they are on the last lap fighting for, let's see, four, three, five. This is for third place, I guess. Seven's trying to take it three wide. Ooh, and, and three loses it completely. I was, I was so far behind, I was not even able to catch him after he made this mistake, but I didn't really earn it anyway, because they were clearly a league above. So it's not like I deserved that spot or anything. And uh, be sure to join his 24-hour roll race. One last time. And then these guys, I guess, are... I guess he's intentionally wrecking him for that last lap incident. Nothing but class here at the Roval here today. So. so I don't know what's going on anymore. They're doing a mating dance or something. All right, that's it. So we will pull it into P6. I'm happy with that. Um, given my very little practice being able to come out here. Um, stock cars on road course is always pretty difficult, so. Um, Lots of fast guys finishing ahead of me, as they should, but was able to keep it on, uh, keep it steady, kept it on the lead lap, and get a decent finish. So I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you have fun doing this combo this week as well if you decide to run it. I'll see you next time. Thanks a bunch.